Oh my god, it's a fucking Xbox Series X. Oh wait, no it's not, it's a... It's a radio. It's a fucking refrigerator radio. That's what it is. Holy shit! Hey guys, what's up? It's Clay Ranger 143 here. With nobody else, unfortunately, for the time being, but uh, we all have lives. But that's besides the point. Anyways, we have three things. One, my iPod Touch 3rd Gen. Two, my wireless FM transmitter. And number three, this thing. Yeah. Gee, if I play this, through my iPod, through the transmitter, and if I do this, oh, I know what this is now. This is the radio that we're going to review today, because in this episode of Radio Reviews, we're going to be taking a look at a radio that activates for AM FM alerts that came out before the spark. And that radio would be the ASI Industries Emergency Alert Sentinel. a fucking mini refrigerator I swear that's what this thing is but anyways the ASI Industries Emergency Alert Sentinel what can be said about this it looks like your classic old drive-in movie theater speaker for fuck's sakes this thing is literally a brick this is the brickiest of bricks the largest of bricks well not really the plasticiness is of bricks the wonders of bricks. That's what this is. But anyways, the ASI Industries Emergency Alert Sentinel is one of those radios that is very quirky in itself with almost everything on it. To be honest, this is something that I have been wanting to review for a while. Hell, I didn't even actually know this thing existed until just last month. But ever since I saw it last month, I said, I absolutely need to review this. So here it is. So, let's take a look at this. Um, very self-explanatory. You got one switch on the front. Ready and reset. You have your alert light that literally says, ALERT! And you have a light here that says, Weekly Test. And two green lights that say, Signal Indicator and Power. On this side, you have a DC 9 volt adapter. On the back, you have a wall mounting hole along with the four screws. And also in the back, you have your battery cover, and you have your batteries. This thing takes six. Six! Yeah. And underneath the battery compartment, you have your AM, FM tuning selection, and your volume and tuning knobs. And if we put that back in, on this side we got nothing. On the bottom we got, for product, service, or information, Call 1-800-747-1434, made in China. On the front you have ASI Industries LLC, Emergency Alert Sentinel. And here is the big speaker in the front. And on top you have your telescoping antenna. So, what's there to say about the EAS and the Emergency Alert Sentinel? Well, 
I'll tell you. The EAS activates the Emergency Alert Sentinel. Because, yeah, before HD Radio and the WX-268, we had this. This is what was out. This, is what, this was literally the only radio, I think, at the time that could activate for AM, FM, Emergency Alerts before the WX-268 and the BC-370CRS and the Spark and any other HD radio. But anyway, so, yeah, I'm reading an article right now from uh, www.radioworld.com and it's called The Changes to EAS. And I'll put that in the description below. So, um, yeah, this article was made in February of 2003 by a person named Chuck Wolf. And apparently, this article appears to somewhat mention the Emergency Alert Sentinel. So, uh, let me look at this. Yep, it does. It absolutely does. So, if I do Control F. There we go. Look at this. I will read the manufacturing uh, section of this article right here. But, um, yeah. One advantage of transmitting the EAS codes through AMFM, or just in general, is that the codes will activate tonal or EAS receivers, receivers available to consumers. For example, ASI Industries manufactures the Tonal Alert Emergency Sentinel receiver that can be tuned to any AM or FM radio station, whether you are the local primary station or not. Anytime the station activates the EAS, the receiver will tone alert and then play the message. Another image booster idea is a sales promotion where local advertisers donate EAS receivers to local schools, daycare centers, hospitals, nursing homes, government agencies, and other at-risk facilities. So this thing was actually used in some pretty damn big places. Stations, schools, ugh, businesses, you name it. So why don't we get down to the basics and take a look at the activation procedures on this thing. There's no siren on it, but that's um, okay because this radio will stay silent all the time if it's on ready mode. And if it's on reset, it'll just stay on static depending on what station you have it on. So, we're gonna use the wireless FM transmitter for this. And this is legal. Don't worry, it's legal. Because these things can only, this is literally like a quarter watt of power. That's barely any enough power just to get to anywhere else. But um, let's activate it with an Amber Alert sound, like a, with the Amber Alert EAS tones. So if I play this, you can see that it activates through it. But yeah, we're going to get into that more on. Wow. Let's just... Alright. Why don't we get into the activation procedures? Okay, the activation on the ASI Industries Emergency Alert Sentinel. So, here we have my iPod Touch. You saw this at the beginning of the video. And then here's the wireless FM transmitter. This is completely legal, by the way. And then here we have the ASI. As you can see, I already activated it for an alert, again, just to make sure that it still worked. If I, by the way, if you press, if you switch it to reset, Literally all the lights will come on. But let's play tones for an Amber Alert for North Carolina. How about that? That is super cool. This was literally the spark before the spark. And then uh, when the EOMs come through, it literally just cuts the broadcast completely. This is literally going to be like um, 
You could say this is going to be one of the shortest reviews ever because, to be honest, this radio does not have many features. All it does is just activate for alerts and that's it. But that's okay because this thing is literally just a brick. It's a brick. But we'll try to make this review at least under 30 minutes. So, it's a shame that this thing doesn't have weather, but it wasn't designed for that. It's just an AM, FM radio that activates for the EAS, which is quite cool, actually. So, let's try a couple more tones on it. That's music. Let's try this one, CDW. By the way, if you're curious, I have the frequency transmitting through uh, 88.1. Let's try CEM. Yeah, fun fact, you have to like reset the radio every single time you receive an alert if you want to activate it again. Or you can just wait for the EOMs to come through. Let's try Contagious Disease Warning. If it works. I think it's too loud for the thing. Try it again. There we go. It was too loud, that's why. It can't be too loud, otherwise it won't activate when you're self-activating it. Now, obviously, it, it's not perfect. But just to know that it activates period is quite cool so why don't we get into the next feature and uh, yeah we're already powering off the radio because we've already demonstrated the radio's most important feature so why don't we get into the next ones why don't we get into the speaker quality next okay the speaker quality on the ASI Industries emergency alert sentinel so I gotta change the volume. So, this is one thing that's inconvenient. You have to take off the battery cover to access the volume, which is okay because this radio doesn't isn't gonna be doing a whole lot of work. But uh, let's try tuning to 106.9 WMIT. Never mind. The tuning is kind of bad, but actually, I have a better idea. Why don't I just use my FM transmitter on 88.1 still and just play some copyright free music through it? <sighs> Gotta wait for my iPod to boot up again. So, yeah. Excuse me for the wait. Okay, let's try, um, let's do a song. I'm gonna play this. All right, 
Perfect. Some radio reviews, soundtrack stuff. All right, let's go along with the volume. Be advised, the speaker is not really that loud. Let's try this. That's way better. transmitter. Hmm. So yeah, the speaker quality in it is actually pretty good for what it is. Like I said, this is not designed to be a weather radio or whatever. So... Why don't we get into the next feature, and you guessed it, it's the reception, but we don't need to go anywhere for it. Actually, we might have to, because my computer is providing a lot of interference, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah. Let's just go right ahead. Let's just go right ahead and go outside with the antenna raised on this damn thing. Who knew that you could get a radio that looks like a fucking drive-in movie theater speaker? Who knew that you could get a radio that looks exactly as such? Who fucking knew? Because I didn't. Not too many people did anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's try it out here. And I'll try not to drop the batteries. or wherever you go with our app and online at thelightfm.org. What for? Uh, Arca Visa International Services. 
is under license. Copyright 2021. The PNC Financial Services Group Inc. All rights reserved. PNC Bank I'm National Seti. Association. Member FDIC. I'm Seti. What? 960. Take a great pride in making ourselves a part of your family by doing one thing very well. Being big. Big flavor. Big family. Big memories. We've fostered the concept of big since 1947. So now we're going small. That's right. Introducing the new big boy and bad boy sliders available in three or six packs. Oh, and we threw on some caramelized onions just to blow your mind. See you soon. He's got the news, weather, traffic. Mike McCormick, tomorrow morning at 5 on 700 WLW. Oh, wow. Reds are on top 4 to nothing as the Giants come to bat against Luis Castillo. Here in the bottom of the first inning. A couple of two-run home runs. Bono and Moustakis, and Tommy Lastella takes a first-pitch fastball inside. Ball one. Castillo is making his third start of the season. Fourth time that he has faced the Giants. Second appearance over his career here at Oracle Park, and he pours a fastball over the inside corner. And the count is even one ball and one strike. Castillo back to his windup, he deals, and it's a line drive back up the middle in the center field, a leadoff single for Tommy Lestella. Well, Chris, so far, Luis Castillo over his first... How about that? The Cincinnati Reds are playing, by the sound of it, on WLW, which actually, I'm, I'm very, very surprised that this thing is actually picking up WLW, because this thing is not really an ideal DXing radio, but for context, WLW 700 AM is in Cincinnati, Ohio and I'm picking it up from North Carolina. But, uh, damn. So, anyways, why don't we go back inside to test more of the AM-FM capabilities, which we already kind of tested. Uh, yeah, there's really no point. <laughs> so, why don't we go back and discuss the build quality instead? Okay, the build quality on the ASI Industries Emergency Alert Sentinel. It's, uh... It's a brick. It's a brick with a lot of, uh, uh, with a lot of brickiness. Um, as I've said already, I'm not sure how well these things were made, but, uh, I do know for a fact that it is very flimsy plastic, kind of like the one that SEMA uses. You know? But... This particular unit, at least, is not that bad in shape. There's uh, almost no scratches on it, but um, there are a couple blemishes on the top. Um, the wall mounting screw looks to be okay. Lettering's all intact. Screws are intact. The label's still intact. Tuning knobs look okay. So, um, battery cover feels nice, the antenna feels okay, uh, not really too much to say about it. Um, switch works fine, and the tuner sounds like it's gonna last for years, because this thing is already old enough, but, um, you know what would be funny? if this was literally a division of SEMA. Because this came out in 2003, I think. And then the frickin' WX-268 was made in 2004. And you all know how that one turned out with its shitty build quality, but, uh, anyway. So, yeah, the build quality on this thing is, uh, is okay, actually. So... Hey. Why don't we get into the next feature? And it is a bad one. Because they didn't make a lot of these, and because of how rare these things are, guess what is high on this particular unit? The price. Okay. The price of this mini fridge the ASI Industries emergency alert sentinel it's expensive for what it is because this thing lacks a ton of features as a matter of fact 
Let me go ahead and search it up right now. ASI Emergency Alert Sentinel. Auto complete. So I go on shopping and I look on eBay. Look at this. Um, yeah, there's a fucking hero on here. Piece of shit. And if you haven't watched the review on the hero, link is in the description. It's a pile of garbage. Both of them are pile of garbages. Also, I'm intentionally, yeah, making grammatical errors because, yeah, meme-worthy. Anyways, no. In all seriousness, to sound professional for once, they are both pieces of utter garbage. They can barely pick up anything, and you can't even set the time on them anymore. So, uh... Oh. Okay, there we go. So... I'm going to show you guys the prices for some of these mini fridges. It is loading on eBay right now, and look, this thing is so high up and can legit be used as a fucking tripod. That's desperate. But, uh, yeah, uh, you guys are gonna be blown away. Look at this. Look at this. It's a hundred bucks. And that's just the start. Let's take a look at some of the other prices. Shopping. $94. $89. And guess what? There's literally only three on um, third-party websites that are not even as trustworthy as eBay, nor will they ever be trustworthy as eBay. But they are literally both on third-party websites, and they both cost expensive amounts of money. So, what I have here is literally a hundred dollar mini fridge. A one hundred dollar mini fridge. Yeah. So yeah, these things are not only rare and uh, weird looking, but they're also fucking expensive. It's literally like Microsoft trying to sell the Xbox Series X. Hey, that's what it looks like. The Xbox Series X, that's what this thing looks like. Hey, look, I can just imagine the advertisements. Introducing the new Xbox Series X from Microsoft. Yeah, we know it looks like a fucking radio with a fucking antenna coming out the side with ASI Industries in the front. And even though the emergency alert sentinel is no relation to the Xbox Series X, it still looks like it. Just enough so we can make it look like a mini fridge in front of the fucking logos and the landscapes. Enjoy your new 69420 horsepower gaming computer console. Now you can get one of these for just a handy price of $599.99. Okay, in conclusion on the ASI Industries Emergency Alert Sentinel, it's not really, <laughs> it's not really a useful radio, but it is definitely a cool radio to have. If you just want a radio that activates for AM, FM alerts, you can definitely pick one up. But, as this video is being made, who knows, these will probably be gone by the time this is uploaded. If someone actually has the brain cells to buy these things for like $95, $90, etc. Yeah, I wouldn't personally buy this, but it's a cool radio. But if you want to collect it, that is completely up to you because yeah, this thing lacks a lot of features. But that is completely up to you if you want to buy it. So, on that note, we are done. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for future videos like this. Also, subscribe to MontyCat33 and the Siren Geek for allowing me to hold their radios again temporarily. And also, this is going to be late. Very late.
because, uh, yeah, today's April 14th, and, uh, by the time this episode is released, it's gonna be in the summer, but, yeah. Future Michael wishing a very happy 21st birthday to Mitchell. You're awesome, brother. A new episode is going to be released, and that episode in Season 9 is going to be the Oregon Scientific WR196T. But yeah, as of today, it's being filmed right now, and holy shit, I almost forgot about Ohio's test. I'll have to get that later. But uh, anyways, thank you all for watching. This is Clay Ranger 143 signing out along with the ASI Industries Emergency Alert Sentinel. We will see you guys very soon, and we will catch you in the next review, and we will be looking at something that does not look like a mini-fridge, so we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.